Hi folks, I'm Flavio, and I'll show you today how to integrate AI assistants with Django using this library, Django AI Assistant. So first of all, imagine we have an issue model. Okay, here we created a Django admin for that model. And this, uh, it's like an issue tracker system where you have an issue title. Inside the issue, you may have a description and you have an assignee as well. So here I have uh, three issues assigned to Pam. And I'm Flavio, the user Flavio. So let's see how we can build uh, an AI assistant that uses large language models that will help us interact with uh, those issues. First of all, we have to create uh, an, AI, uh, an AI assistant that imports from the AI assistant uh, class. So here we are creating an issue tracker AI assistant. We give it an ID, a name, and some instructions. The instructions can be really basic, like you are an issue tracker assistant, help the user manage issues using the provided tools. And that's the key. Uh, the provided tools are methods that we declare inside this class, like this one, that will provide the large language model, the, the AI, with uh, functionalities that are integrated with Django. So here we are like giving the AI access to the current user's email. So the, the current user is already inside the AI assistant uh, via this attribute. So we have this tool here, a method tool to get the current user email. And we have a method tool as well to list um, all the issues. Um, and here we can see that we simply dump, uh, we do a JSON dump of the issues. And we have also another one here that's list user assigned issues. So we can pass an assignee email and this will list the issues assigned to the provided user, the user with this email. So it's the same of this one, but with a filter. Let's see how we can interact with this AI assistant and uh, have it to call these tools. So we can open up a shell here. And first of all, we import the issue tracker AI assistant and I'll get my user as well. And then I will instantiate this AI assistant with my user. So my user is interacting with this AI. And then I can invoke, I can call the AI uh, by calling run and passing some message. So I can pass something like list my issues and pass the thread ID uh, known. I'll explain that later. And if we do that, we are calling the AI and the AI responds that we currently have no assigned issues. Let's see how we can get uh, Pam's issues. I know her email, so I'll just do list Pam at example.org issues. And now uh, let me just print that to improve. And now it just uh, shows all the all Pam issues uh, this once. Okay, let's see something more complex here. Um, we have, we can do other method tools like create issue, update issue, delete issue. And we have here assign user to issue. That's uh, some basic logic here that gets the issue, gets the assignee, then sets the issue, the assignee to the issue. And the, the cool thing about AI assistants is that they, they are creative. So they can do something like uh, assign all the issues from Pam to Flavio. So we can do something like assign Pam issues to Flavio at example.org. And now we see that the response says that all issues assigned to Pam have been successfully reassigned to Flavio. And I can refresh this and you see all are with me. And note that uh, we didn't implement a for here to iterate over all the issues. The, the AI was able to use those tools and combine them in a way that does what we want. And the generative capabilities of the AI are also useful here. So let's like open a UI here. This UI is an example UI, a React UI, that we are using some built-in hooks that the Django AI Assistant provides. And you can build something really easily in your own code base. But let's just create a thread here. And threads uh, allow AI Assistants to keep track of previous messages. So threads are conversations between a user and AI Assistant. So let's just say hi here. And uh, how can I assist you today with managing your issues? The AI asks. So I'll ask the AI to please generate a description for issue number three, ID three. And then the AI will get the issues and get the issue with uh, ID three and update the, the issue with the description it generated. So let's just look here. And now we see there is a description here that tells what someone has to do uh, to change the email from SMTP to SendGrid. And it seems okay. So the generative capabilities of the large language models combined very well with the tool usage that AI assistants support. This is just a quick demo of AI assistant capabilities, but there's much more that's supported by the library, including retrieval augmented generation and other tooling as well. Please check the documentation and let us know what you think about the library. Please feel free to create issues and engage with discussions. Thank you.